Today we're cooking fish and chips. And the beer of the day is... Modelo Especial. A modelito, tu sabes. Today I got something special. Fish and chips. And the beer of the day is... Modelito Especial. Today we are cooking fish and chips. Chips, chips. We are cooking chips. Cooking chips. Modelito, tu sabes. All right, so I went to my favorite store, Albertsons, and I got a few items: uh, some malt vinegar, some sweet relish, some mayonnaise, mayonesa, and one of the special ingredients: rice flour. Plus, I got some capers. What the hell are capers? I don't know. I also got some white cod fish, maybe like a little bit over a pound. Feeds like three or four people. It says 100% guarantee. We'll find out. I got some Idaho potatoes. Idaho potatoes are just larger. Uh, they're needed for this kind of dish. I got some canola oil. You're going to need all of that. I got some paprika. And I got some baking powder, not soda. Don't get soda, okay? Powder. What's baking soda doing there? I don't know. One thing I did forget to mention and to add to the ingredients was all-purpose flour. But before we talk about these potatoes, let's take a break and have a little drink rupee. Tu sabes. Okay, back to Mr. Potatoes. I'm learning how to cut potatoes and use a knife. As you can see, I'm sharpening my skills. Get it? I'll stick to cooking. I'm going to cut these fries pretty thick like steak fries. Something like this. Once you're done with that, then you put them in a bowl and put some ice cold water so you can remove all that starch. Once you remove them from the water, remove all that starch and you dry them up, then you boil them. You heard me right, you boil them. While the fries are boiling, I'm making my homemade tartar sauce, five spoonfuls of mayo, two spoonfuls of uh, sweet relish, couple capers, little lemon, mixer uppy, and bam! A little taster uppy. Time to add some oil to the fryer. If you don't have a fryer, just get a pot, put it on the stove. Okay, one scoop, two scoops of all-purpose flour. And now you want to add the uh, two scoops of rice flour. We also want to add two teaspoons of baking powder, not soda, powder. And one teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of malt vinegar. And now for the most important part of this video, modelito especial, tu sabes. I put this in slow motion so we can all enjoy this beautiful process. Look at that, oh my goodness. Whisker uppy. You add like a full beer, but I've been drinking so from that beer so it's a little bit more uh, just think about it like a pancake mix just like that dripper uppy now it's time to check on the fries they look like they're done you can put a fork in there and and test them if they start breaking up then that's it you take them out and you let them cool off for a little bit this process uh, with the fries and the fish and it takes time but it's well worth it but don't forget to season your fries, salt, pepper, and paprika. I'm gonna fry these bad boys not once, but twice. After the first fry, you take them out, let them cool off, put them back in, and the rest is history. Oh my God, this is the first time I cook them like this, and let me tell you something, tu sabes. A little bit over one pound of fish, you cut them in pieces like this, diagonal, and then you get more bang for your bucker up.
You get one cup of all-purpose flour, put it on a plate or tray like this, make sure you cover the whole fish, and then you dip her up just like this. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted here. What is this? A modelito. All right, back to work. So you make sure you have batter on the whole fish. And I'm using my hands, but you can just use uh, thongs. Much easier, cleaner. I'm sorry, I'm dirty, I know. Make sure you get rid of that extra batter. Take your time and put it in slowly. Slowly. Make sure your oil is at 350 degrees. Slowly. Just like that. You want to cook two or three pieces at a time. The less fish, the better they cook. Finger licking good. The fish look like they're coming out pretty good. But I'm just looking at this batter everywhere. I never said I was clean. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fish and chips. I can't wait to taste this piece of fish and fries. You know what? Who are we kidding? This is a voiceover. I already ate it. It was delicious. And now a little motivation. Life is too short to be negative. Follow your dreams. Keep moving forward. Remove yourself from negativity. You are the average of the five people you hang out with. So look around you. Who are you hanging out with? Are they positive? Are they negative? Keep moving forward. Enjoy life. Stay away from negative people. They're dangerous. Cost me about 50 to 60 bucks for about six pieces of fish. It was well worth it. Just look at these pieces. Mmm. Mmm. Fresh fish, fresh batter, fresh everything. Tastes so good. Homemade tartar sauce makes a difference. The beer of the day, Modelito, two sides.